Hey guys. This is going to be uh, the last sugar coated. I have officially completed the uh, line, as you can tell. Cedar wood. Uh, she is absolutely stunning in this form. I love her. Um, this line, I definitely have to say. So let's get her opened up. After, I'll show you the back of the box real fast. <laughs> Pretty simple stuff, same as the others. So let's get started. So here she is out of the box. She does come with a little uh, cake and then she comes with a brush and a doll stand. Her hair is actually pretty soft. It's not gelled up at all, which I absolutely love. So I'm glad that she does come with the doll stand because these are the older versions. So they pretty much do come with the doll stands. And she has what looks to be some ice cream, uh, an icing waffle type um, shoes that go all the way up, almost to her knees. And then up here, it looks like she comes with her own little uh, wooden paddles. So she does come with a necklace. Uh, it's not one I have seen before. Then she has a big old uh, suspenders belt. It's connected. And this is what her dress looks like. And I absolutely love her hair. I'm not, I cannot get over it. I love her hair. Um, this is what her headband looks like. It's a little bow with some icing on the top. She, of course, has that little uh, pink heart shape in the middle of her lips. Her top piece is wood grain as well as her skin is. And it seems like she has a little apron that has a little pocket. It's not real pocket, but it's still a cute idea. And yeah, she is the only one of the sugar-coated dolls that does not come with earrings. I actually didn't notice that Madeline Hatter came with earrings until after I stopped the video. But her earrings are very simple. They were hearts with some icing dripping down on top of the hearts. So, they're about the same as Holly's. <sighs> Sorry, it's so dark. Um, anyways, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next review. Bye!